Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, Tommy here at TNS Woodwork. So I just got a bunch of questions about this, uh, this piano keyboard uh, that I made. And I thought maybe I could show you guys how to make it. I, I was making some checkerboards and I uh, had these scraps and I thought that these would be really perfect for, for doing it. Uh, probably a smaller version, but so I had those. That's, um, that's maple. And uh, this is wenge. I had these little stuff or I think it's pronounced wenge but I'm a New Yorker so I call it wenge and then uh, from a different board I did I, I have these so basically what I'll do is I'll, I'll glue these up with that in between like this and I'll, and I'll show this to you guys and then I'll, I'll rip the whole thing down in half and I'll use my dado blade and I'll insert these where, wherever I want them and that'll make my keyboard effect Okay guys, so now you can see the uh, the glue up that I was talking about. All glued up like that. And um, see the squeeze out's nice, so it should hold pretty well. And then what I'll do, like I said before, is I'll, I'll cross cut this this way uh, to whatever dimensions I want. Uh, usually I try to make the top small and the bottom so it has a better look for the keyboard. And then I will use my dado blade to cut the bigger section. And I'll insert these pieces of end grain uh, wenge. That's how, it's, that's how it's done. We'll see uh, what the finished product looks like. Okay, so you can see now that I ripped this down in half. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bigger half here. And I'm going to bring it over to my table saw where I have my dado blade set up. Dado blade basically cuts and gives you a, a bigger groove than uh, the eighth inch that your table saw would do. I made a jig here so they could tell me where my dado is going to be cut. So I'll just line this up with the middle of it there, send it through, and I'll have grooves to put my uh, my piano key pieces in. So we'll see how it goes. So now you can see I cut my dados out. Burned it a little bit, but I got the grooves there to put my inserts in. What I'll do is, I'll glue in my wenge or wenge inserts. I'll make them fit nice and I'll glue them in there. And then I'll glue this back together, finish it up, and that'll be my uh, piano case. We'll see how it comes out. So there you can see now all my wenge inserts are, inser are inserted. And, uh, glued in. They're actually so tight that they really don't need much clamping. I'm probably going to leave them for a couple hours clamped. But then as you can see this would go back to that once it's all cleaned up and prettied up. And you can see we got our keyboard all set up. I'm excited to see what it looks like when it's finished. And the thing that's cool about this is that these were made 100% from just scraps that were going to get thrown away. So now once it's done, it'll be uh, able to go in someone's kitchen and, and it, won't be any, it won't be wasteful at all, which is nice. So I smoothed out and joined my edges. And uh, they join up pretty good actually, you can see. All right, and join them up and try to make these lines line up as best as you can. It's funny how they rip from the same piece of wood and somehow getting them perfect is always a challenge. Hey, okay, so now you see the uh, piano keyboard all glued up. So what I'm going to do now, take over my table saw. I'm going to cross cut, uh, I had some scraps of mahogany that I glued together, you can see. So I'm going to just cross cut those and add them around the piano keyboard to, to make the piano effect. So you can see now I cut some strips out for the top and bottom. I tried to put more on the top than the bottom because, uh, you know, in my mind that's the way a, a piano would look. Um, and you try to stagger the joints for strength. And then what I'll do is I'll cross cut it on the sides or I'll, you know, I'll cut it clean on the sides 
and I'll build it out side to side so it'll have that piano effect once this is glued up. So you see here I have my final glue up of my piano cutting board and uh, looks pretty nice. It's all end grain. You got your mahogany, maple, and your wenge. All made of scraps. So this is all literally taken out of the garbage. Things that were being thrown away. Made this nice board. I'm excited to see it finished. Okay, so here's our board. All, uh, all glued up. It's going to require some serious sanding. Um, and I put these two sacrificial boards, I call them, to, uh, so I could throw this thing through the planer and this will take care of the snipe and also it will prevent any tear out on the edges. Uh, that's a, a, a debate that's been going on for a long time of whether or not you can plane an end grain board. Um, I'm not telling you whether you should or you shouldn't. I've had, uh, I've always had success doing it. So I do it, and uh, some of the woodworkers that I follow uh, do as well. But I've seen some great woodworkers who, who won't, won't do it and say that it could be a disaster. Uh, but you see here, I, this kind of came up a little bit shallow here, um, and a little bit here too. So I think that's kind of uh, my only option. I don't have a, a drum sander. Um, I could level it off with the router if I wanted to, but... But for me, the, the planer is just easier and, and it works well. So once this thing is given its oil bath, the colors will come out great. And uh, I'm excited to see what it, what it looks like. Stay tuned. All right, now you see the piano board all plain down. Like I said before, um, we don't feel like there's any issue with planing end grain. Some people do, but this plane really nice. See, we had our sacrificial pieces on the ends here for in case there was any snipe and so there was no tear out. Everything's nice and smooth. The board's shaping up really good. So we'll just have to sand it, uh, probably round over the edges a little bit, and then that's it. Give it an oil bath and it'll be good to go. I'm excited to see what it looks like. Okay guys, now you can see we're almost there. Um, everything is rounded over and sanded down. They came out and they're really nice and flat. I'm happy with it. Um, so now this thing will get an oil bath a little later. And uh, we'll finally have our finished product of this piano keyboard. All made from scraps. Um, and uh, basically just a salvaged board. So we'll see what it looks like. I'm excited to see the final product. Okay guys, so it's the final step of the uh, the salvaged piano keyboard. Uh, just add in some mineral oil, so you'll see how that's done. One of the, the best part, you can see it all come to life. Mineral oil is food safe, so that's what I like to use. Some people use different things, but I'll do this a couple times. Really let it soak in. It's end grain, don't forget, so it's going to soak in a lot. And then uh, I'll let it dry, and I'll, I'll, I'll do it again, and, and that'll be it. So once it's all dried up, we'll see what it looks like. 